Hello my wonderful wavies and my curly and coily coterie. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lena and welcome to my bathroom. Now today I wanted to come on and talk about something a little different. This actually wasn't what I intended to talk about today. I had an entire other video planned out and that will still be coming soon, but I just couldn't do it today. I was planning on filming a video about the transition process and how when you decide to embrace your natural hair, how you can speed up that process to the point where your hair starts to look a lot better. And I did my hair and I put in my styling products and I scrunched it and I put in my gel and I dried it and I got through the entire, you know, how long it can take. It was probably a two or three hour process with having to get my daughter up from her nap and feed her and play with her and then dry my hair when she goes down for her next nap. And I got done with that several hour long process for me. And I dried my hair and I looked at it and I got visibly upset. I got very upset with myself because I looked in the mirror and I did not see what I wanted to see. I saw frizz, I saw stringy bits, I saw no definition up top here, and I actually didn't even have definition down here. I actually had to re-wet my hair and restyle my hair, and it took me that extra 30 minutes of time, and by the time I was finally, I, I don't even know if I would say it was done. I got to a point where I was willing to stop, and I was like, okay, i not satisfied, but I'm gonna stop here. I really need to film this video. I got all set up and my daughter woke up. And I thought I was going to break down. <laughs> because I was just so upset with myself that I had spent all day on this process. Because this was her second nap and she had just woken up. It was about 5 o'clock, 5 p.m. And I was so upset with myself that I had spent all day on this. And my hair just looked awful. I looked at myself in the mirror and that's what I thought. My hair looks awful awful and I was just so upset I went to go get her I fed her I played with her a little bit um and I thought maybe I'll bring her and set her down in the bathroom and we can play together and she'll play on the floor while I do my video but <laughs> as it goes especially with babies that's not how it went I put her down on the floor I gave her things to play with and she was making noise. And some of them, it wasn't necessarily bad noise. It was baby noise, but it got me so upset. I was just so frustrated and so flustered and upset with myself that I didn't get my hair done sooner. And now I can't film this video because my daughter is playing on the floor and making a lot of noise. And I was so upset with myself. And I really just had to stop and I had to turn everything off, put everything away put my hair up under a bonnet because I didn't even want to look at it. And I went downstairs and I played with my daughter for an hour and then I fed her dinner and then I put her down for bed. And it took me that long to calm myself down and to just take a deep breath and look at myself and say, this is not a big deal. And obviously at the time it was a big deal, but it took me that long to really just calm myself down and say, you know what? I was experimenting with products. I tried new products that I haven't tried before, products that I've never tried together before. Um, I didn't use the Denman brush to style my hair like I normally do. I just kind of threw in my products, scrunched and went because I was in such a rush to try to get things done while my daughter was napping. It's understandable that it didn't turn out okay. And that's one thing I wanted to come on and say is that when you're experimenting with products, you need to cut yourself a little bit of slack. Things are not always going to go how you expect. You're going to try something new and maybe you didn't use enough product. Maybe you used too much product. Maybe the products you were using just didn't work well together, or maybe they just don't work well for your hair. And that's okay. And it takes that experimentation to know these things. Or maybe you've been watching some YouTube tutorials and you've decided to try a new process, uh, whether it's trying a Denman brush for the first time or going without a Denman brush or styling upside down or finger coiling, what, net plopping, whatever it is that you're trying. We need to give ourselves some slack when we're experimenting and it doesn't turn out the way we expect it. 
it happens sometimes. We're allowed to have bad hair days. And Lord knows we've had our fair share. And especially if, you know, if you're not new to this process, it takes a lot of getting used to. And even if you are new to the process of, you know, curly hair styling, if you've never even thought about it, if you're new to this channel, new to this concept, and maybe you just had bad hair days in the sense that it's poofy and frizzy and you just throw it up in a ponytail, and maybe you didn't even know that there could be more definition. You're standing there looking at my hair going, girl, you're crazy. Your hair looks so good. I wish my hair was that shiny. And that's just my point though, is we're so hard on ourselves about everything. Um, I know as I've gone through this process, and I know there are tons of other people who feel this way, but when I was early on in the process and transitioning from frizzy, puffy, dry hair to trying to encourage my hair to look shiny and healthy and trying to get those curls, I would get upset at myself because I didn't have curls. My hair, when I was transitioning, started off wavy. And it's so funny because I was looking through old pictures the other day and I came across this picture and I looked at it and I went, man, I think today looking at that picture that my hair looked amazing. But I remember at the time being frustrated because it was only wavy and I wanted those pretty ringlets, I wanted those pretty curls. And now looking back, I'm thinking of ways that I can try to experiment to purposefully get that look again. So it's just funny because we're so hard on ourselves, we beat ourselves up over our bad hair days. And I know I'm not the best at this either. And I haven't historically been the best at this. I know when I was going through my transition process, which for me started several years ago, I started my journey towards healthy hair back in 2018. So it's been two and a half years now. And those first few months to the first year or so, I hated my hair. And I know the other big thing for me back when I was transitioning and my hair was just wavy and I was looking at it, wanting it to be curly. I think a lot of us look at other curly girls or other people with curly hair or whatever hairstyle they have and we say, I want that. I want that color. I want that style. I want that shape. I want that shine. Whatever it is we're thinking about, we want it so bad. I know for me, one of my biggest frustrations is that I don't kick curl at the root and I fight it every single time I style my hair. I go in and I try to force it and I've been on this quest to find ways to make my hair curl at the scalp, but there is a certain point where that's just not my hair. And I know I've talked to other other women, other people with curly hair who have said the same thing, or maybe they're in this process right now, they're going through this transition process and they want their hair to look like something that it's not. And it is just something that it takes time. It's something that we need to accept that maybe today my hair doesn't look like this, but if I give it enough time and love, eventually it will, it will get there. It will maybe be what I want it to be, maybe not. And we need to start accepting what is going to be and accepting how things are right now, because as much as we want our hair to look like something else, and even if we have some degree of idea of what it could potentially look like, say a sibling or something. My older siblings started this journey before I did and I was going, they have fantastic curls. I want curls like that. <laughs> and as it turns out after all this time, even though we're siblings, my hair does not look like that. My hair does not curl at the root like theirs does and that's okay. And that's something I've had to learn to accept is that this is what my hair texture is. I'm not gonna get tighter curls. I'm not going to get curls at the root because that's just how my my hair grows. And I've been experimenting and trying and doing all these things in hopes of one day getting curl at the root, getting more volume, all those things that we want. And it may or may not happen. And I need to learn to accept that. I need to learn to accept and look at my hair as it is right now and say, I can aim for that as my goal. 
but I need to be happy with this right now. And it is, it's so funny because I look at my hair right now and I go, look at these frizzy bits, look at this craziness. It looks awful. But if I were to go to the grocery store like this, I would probably have people complimenting my hair and telling me how pretty my curls look. And that's just it, is we're so bad as a society about this, especially if you're a woman in America right now. We're so bad at beating ourselves up over not being perfect. My makeup didn't turn out as well today as I thought it would. My hair didn't turn out the way I thought it would. My outfit doesn't look as good together as I thought it would. Or maybe you're beating yourself up because you stayed in pajamas all day and you're just telling yourself I should have gotten dressed I should have gotten dressed today or I put on a t-shirt I should dress nicer whatever it is we're beating ourselves up over we need to learn to take a step back and I need to do this to take a step back and just take a deep breath and say you know what my hair didn't turn out the way I thought it was going to today I've been doing this process for several years and bad hair days are just going to happen and that's okay. My makeup isn't always going to turn out how I want it to be. Um, maybe I look at myself and think I look fat. Again, other people look at us and see something so different than we see ourselves. We are so hard on ourselves and I am so hard on myself. And I really just wanted to come on and I wanted to take a few minutes to just say, you are beautiful. I am beautiful. We are beautiful the way that we are. And I really hope that we can all come to learn how to accept things the way that they are now. Again, I'm not saying don't aim for a goal. Again, I'm not saying that you should just give up and just accept things as they are. I'm saying that we need to, and I need to learn that I can aim for this goal, but still be happy with the way things are now, knowing that I'm aiming towards a goal and it takes time to get there. If I decide I want to lose weight or start exercising and become healthy and more fit, that takes time to get there. And I shouldn't be upset at myself up until that point. I should learn to accept the way I am now, knowing that I have a goal in mind. And to, sometimes you do just need to accept the way things are and know that my hair is flat at the roots and I don't get curl definition up for the last inch or two. And that's okay. That's just the way my hair is and I need to learn to accept that and I need to stop fighting it so much. Especially in the world we live in today with how crazy things are, it's okay. And I know it's hard and I struggle with this a lot too, but taking a step back and just accepting yourself and knowing that this is what my hair is doing today. This is what my makeup is doing today. This is what I'm doing today and that's okay. And I don't need to be perfect every single day. And as hard as it can be, I really just, I wanted to come on here and just share my experience with y'all. Because I really did have a moment where I thought I was gonna break down over a few pieces of hair. Anyway, I just really wanted to come on and just take a few minutes to say, you're beautiful. And I hope that this video helps you to know that you are not the only one who has these issues, that a lot of us struggle with these same things. I hope that you can accept who you are as well and just cut ourselves a little slack because with the way the world thing is right now, with, it, with, the way, with the way that things are going right now, we all need it. We are our own worst enemies right now, especially, and I think a lot of us just need a little bit of slack so not really sure how to end this video other than to just say that I hope that you have a fantastic day and I hope you know that you are beautiful and that you don't have to be perfect and hopefully I'll see you again in the future